Well, 10 Tampa Bay Chief Meteorologist Bobby Deskins joins us right now. Bobby, we're keeping a close eye on the tropics right now. That's right. So far, so good. There's a, well, a few things to look at. The, the, the Hurricane Center even said, hey, that little tropical wave that moved across Florida over this past weekend with the heavy rainfall, it had about a 0% chance. It was rotating a little bit, but it's now moving on shore. Uh, this little area not concerned, 10%. This little area not going to develop. Aaron is the one that we will watch. You can see that cone right there takes it mainly north of the islands. Here's the 11 p.m. update. 45 mile per hour winds, pressure 1,004 millibars. That's where it's been basically all day. Hurricane Center forecast has not changed a whole lot. By Wednesday evening, we get a hurricane, which would be the first of the season, and then it's over warmer water, and it really starts to strengthen a little bit. Not a lot of wind shear, so it's going up to Cat 3. At least that's the forecast. Now, the forecast models, they have started to shift a little bit back towards the west, a little bit closer to the Bahamas and the Turks and Caicos. Still, it looks like it wants to recurve, but we'll watch. And like, look, this is seven days out. Well, Saturday. OK, this is Saturday right here. So we've got plenty of time and this will change, right? The odds of it being exactly like it is right now are very, very slim. That's just how the weather world works. I've compared the GFS and the European. This is Tuesday morning, all right? A week from tomorrow. <laughs> there's the Turks and Caicos. There's the Bahamas. That is the GFS. That's the European. You notice as we go out towards about Wednesday, Thursday, a week from this Wednesday, Thursday, so a week and a half. You can see where Bermuda is. They do squeeze it in between the two. Again, I'd be surprised if it looks like this a week and a half from now. OK, so it's something that we'll watch. The steering of this is the high pressure that it's floating underneath of. That's what they do. They kind of bob underneath these big areas of high pressure. However, there is this trough coming along, and this is going to weaken that high pressure a little bit. Does it weaken it enough to open up the door to let this slide? to the north and get pulled up by that trough. Does it miss the trough and come further to the west? Right now, it looks like it's going to get it and it's going to turn to the north. But that's what we need to find out. And that's what we're going to know a lot more by Thursday, Friday, Saturday of this upcoming weekend. So stay tuned. Make sure you check back in with us, OK? Because the forecast is going to change just a little bit.